Starting it in Modi meeting Equity X. Then I have a couple of meetings with some startups. Then APEC lunch with some US politicians visiting Israel. After that, I24 news to talk tech. And then tonight, I was invited and given golden ring tickets to the Aerosmith concert in Tel Aviv. Boom! In a beautiful little town called Reut meeting Equity X. They have some huge news to announce. Perhaps I'll get him to announce it here on the vlog. Stay tuned. As I mentioned, I'm meeting this guy, Ori, from EquityX. I'm an advisor at the company, kind of full disclosure. I've said that before. You've met him before, actually. I think you were probably in the first episode. We can't really announce in detail because we're not allowed to talk about it, but what can we say today? EquityX is going to the US. We're actually going to be in the Silicon Valley starting from this Sunday. Boom! This is after several months of a very successful beta here in Israel. Now we're going to Silicon Valley. You're making the ultimate sacrifice. You're you know, leaving your family for a couple of months. Right? It's not can't be pleasant, but you're all in on this thing. EquityX is a phenomenal idea, and you're gonna be taking the valley by storm, right? That's the plan. We're actually gonna be there for the next four months and taking the valley by storm. Love it. A solid meeting with EquityX. Now heading to Tel Aviv to meet Stratic, a super hot company that is way too geeky for me to explain to you what they do. More to come. Equity X really is an interesting company. They're kind of tapping into the whole connecting world where people connect each other. Everyone's making intros all the time, except they kind of productized it. They're onto something big. Silicon Valley's gonna love them. Schwab here, one of the better known WordPress experts in Israel. The company that I work on is called Stratic, and Stratic is a platform that publishes open source content management systems like WordPress, which many of you probably know, as static websites. Uh, what percent of the internet is on these open source content uh, management systems? Yeah. So 50%, which is about 150 million websites. So 50% of the internet, as we know it, yeah. uses like WordPress and all these other guys that Joomla are. Open. And Drupal, yeah. right. Okay, so what's the problem? So the problem is that these platforms were built 10 years ago, and today hacking is automated, and these these platforms, their vulnerabilities are published, so everyone knows about them, including the hackers, and they just send bots out and they hack at will. Pretty much My site was hacked twice in the last two months. Yeah. Not and, fun. <laughs> no, it's not fun. And as a manager of an agency, when the sites get hacked, it's not just one, it's like 10 or 100 and it's a huge headache. And loss of revenue, loss of leads, brand damage to our clients, it's really bad news. And I'm sure many of you have experienced that. So our platform publishes these sites as static, which actually essentially removes all these vulnerabilities. So these bots can't hack these sites. Static means it's literally what you see is what you get. There's no there's no database. There's, there's nothing no going on in the database. background. There's no engine. And there's some additional benefits to this uh, approach to publishing websites, which is that they are faster, which is another pain point with these sites. They're more scalable because they use less resources to load. And you get a staging area, which actually a lot of our clients want. So Why hasn't anyone else done this before? A few people have tried. We found like some dead companies along the way. I came up with the idea without seeing them, but um, I found a few attempts. It's not so simple, but we are succeeding in doing it. So you guys were in Mass Challenge, yeah. top accelerator in the world, the biggest accelerator in the world. Yeah. And where else were you accepted? Uh, so Google has this accelerator program, and uh, this year was for cyber companies, and we were one of 10 companies from around the world accepted to participate. Okay. 15 seconds, tell me about your biggest challenges. Our biggest challenges are scaling. We're a team of two. We have one more person who's hopefully joining and it's hard to do that, uh, just the two of us. They need money. Basically we need money, yeah. The other challenge is for me, communicating these problems and our solution without sounding like a geek, which Hillel has been helping me with. Because I speak in tech terms, not everyone does. Awesome, so you need money and you also are looking to build your advisory board of industry leaders, people that get security and have thoughts and leadership in the world of security, correct? Yes, absolutely. Looking forward to hearing great things. Thank you. Good luck. I'm Gali Ginat. I'm a legal affair correspondent in Israel, oh. in Walla website. Walla is like one of the biggest media sites in Israel, I think. Yes, it is. In Israel, I really like criminals and criminal affairs, so I have a lot of... Hey, hey, people are watching this around the world. They think we're a bunch of criminals. Can you be nice, please? Okay, so you've been working in media for how long? I've been working in media for 10 years. I first uh, started in a uh, print uh, newspaper, then I moved to television, and now internet is the 
course in the future, so that's where I am. So Wala is a, a purely internet business? It is. We also make a lot of uh, video content that comes in the website. And your areas of coverage are legal and? Investigative features. Politics, no? Yes? In Israel, politics and uh, legal affairs always come together. Right. I guess everything's politics in this country, right? It's been a pretty great day so far. I'm heading to APAC, an APAC lunch now to meet with some U.S. politicians, tell them about what's going on here in the Israeli tech scene. Always fun with APAC. Big fan of the organization. Here we are in Israeli. My fellow speakers, who are you? I am Saul Kay from Israel. You're, is it true to say that you are leading the medical cannabis industry in Israel? Oh, I don't want to say cannabis. I don't want to make you sound like a drug dealer, but you're, I mean, you're one of the big one of the big dudes here. Is that true? I'm working hard for cannabis in Israel. Why? Cannabis is a beautiful opportunity for Israel, a beautiful opportunity to make money, and a beautiful opportunity to help people. And it's cool. Why not? I don't get some. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We're going out to an APAC conference with uh, some leaders from the US coming to look at technology, look at why Israel. We've asked on the Canada side to, to tell why Israel's got such a special story. I mean, um, APAC's the, I'd say the leading lobby for Israel in the US, and you know they're quite influential. And they do good stuff, I think, for Israel, for the Jews, etc. And they asked me to speak in general about Startup Nation. I guess you're talking about cannabis, and there are going to be other people that are talking about, I guess, their industries. What's interesting to me is that I always say this Israel's leading in all vertical and it's, it's great to hear that there's so much going on on the cannabis side of things as well and it doesn't surprise me to hear that but I guess keep doing what you're doing it's I guess good for humanity not that I know very much about cannabis but the regulation needs to change attitudes need to change that's all happening here in Israel it's quite exciting that's awesome good luck restaurants in all of Tel Aviv. It's just crazy. All of Tel Aviv. Strategic advisor and technology expert Hillel Fold. Hi, Hillel. Thanks so much for being here today. Literally, it's as if there's like a team at Instagram saying, like with a magnifying. What did what did Snapchat do today? Copy. Like now that they copied every single feature of Snapchat, like what are they going to do next? You know, it's like a joke. Like their product roadmap is empty now. Yesterday morning, I get a message from a, an investor in Israel saying, "You're not going to believe who's sitting in front of me at breakfast." And I'm like, "Who?" He's like Evan Spiegel. I'm like, "There's no Evan Spiegel in Israel." I would know if he was in Israel. <laughs> sure enough, Evan Spiegel came on a surprise visit. No one knows what he was doing. No one knows what he was doing here. He did acquire an Israeli company recently. Um, so maybe he was meeting them. Maybe he was talking about a new acquisition. But he was in Israel, and as you see, he was meeting with the mayor of Jerusalem. Which, you know, I love that. I mean. While Zuckerberg is out there copying him, he's here meeting the mayor of Jerusalem, so that's awesome. Just finished the I-24 segment. That went well. Now, going back to my car, have several meetings with the U.S. Then I'm going to the Aerosmith concert, and I'm going to try to get there literally three hours early to get a parking spot. And I'll just work in the car for a couple hours. One more thing.